Hello again, a very, very warm welcome to you all. My name is Denny Kane. I'm very excited to be here today with a rather special bottle of whiskey. I almost said rare bottle of whiskey. I don't like to use the word rare very much. I think rare whiskey is overused sometimes and for most part when I hear somebody say, this is a rare bottle of whiskey. It's not even a rare bottle of whiskey. With this, I think you could say that. I'll go through that in a moment because I must of course say, Please subscribe if you do not already. Also, please hit the like button because then YouTube will obviously share the video around. More people will get to see it. This is, of course, Suntory's Age Unknown. Not a lot of information on the label. You see the name Kezo Saji. He was Shinjiro Tori's son, who was the founder, of course, of Suntory. So while Kezo was at the helm, he released two versions of this as it happens. One was bottled in 1989, the other 1994. Both said to be distillate from the 60s, so we are talking. And this is why I'm saying a rather special bottle of whiskey. Suntory distillate from the 60s, 20, 30 plus years of age, and also only a couple hundred bottles of each released. So not very much to go around at all. As I said, hence why I said rather special bottle and really excited to go through this one today. Normally what I'll do is I would go through smell, taste, overall experience, give it a score, and then also talk about whether I think it's worth buying a bottle and everything along those lines. Now, I'm gonna skip that last part because I recently had a look at what this was going for now. It doesn't pop up at auction very much at all, but some of the um, retail or secondary prices I'm seeing now, depending on the currency, thirty to $40,000, so, I'm still gonna go through the smell, taste, overall experience as I would normally do. Very fancy tonight because on the top of my blender's glass, I have the top of a tin to quite simply just keep the nose in. Now, yes, as expected, chocolate, ganache, some honey, nuts, a little bit of cigar and pipe tobacco as well. Um, I was going to say after dinner, mint, or this is a little bit silly. <laughs> I was going to say the mint they leave on your pillow if you to stay at a hotel or motel, but I've not stayed at a hotel or motel for a very long time. So let's just call it an after dinner mint, along with some menthol, said nuts, dried fruits. They are figs, prunes, mainly apricots as well. The nose, it is a fantastic start, absolutely. 43% ABV. The nose is a little higher than 43% ABV. You'll have to excuse me for taking a little bit longer there. On your arrival initially, you're gonna say pepper because there's some spice coming through, but then honey, immediately honey comes through. Some chewy caramel, fantastic. The nuts I mentioned earlier, chocolate, yes. Dried fruits, predominantly though, apricot, chewy caramel, just keeps on lingering through that spice. Then as you enter the finish, Christmas cake, along with some, it is, a, it is a lengthy finish, very, very full. Along with some, it's not quite, it's like Toblerone. There is a Croatian chocolate called Krash, K-R-S-H. That is chocolate, of course, honey, and also some nuts. It's, it's kind of in between a Toblerone and that. I think actually they made Toblerone um, many years ago, so probably why um, there are some similarities, but I absolutely love over the Rome chocolate, one of my absolute favorite chocolates. And some licorice as well on the finish. Fantastic, there is a lot that is going on. I'm not going to add water to this because at 43%, it doesn't need any water with some time and air. A little bit of that tobacco really just shines through, probably more pipe tobacco than anything. Honey, yes, absolutely. Chocolate, menthol, fan. Fantastic. What I was going to say is, it's delicious. It's not what I was going to say, but it is re really delicious. I'm not just saying that. The flavors, it's very full, mouthful, but delicate flavors all harmoniously work together. The balance is fantastic. Flavors are just interwoven. It works so well together. What I was going to say is, in terms of Japanese whiskey, and this was on my mind a while ago when I say, you know, people say rare whiskey. Something like a Hibiki 30-year-old is not a rare whiskey. 
is an expensive whiskey. It is a fantastic whiskey. Yes, great blend, tastes fantastic, but there are thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of bottles of that out there. So it is not a rare whiskey. If you have an early version, or maybe if you have a Yamazaki 25, for example, which is also not a rare bottle of whiskey, and it is a low number. I remember seeing something that started, it was like a three digit Yamazaki 25 in Japan a couple of years ago. Something like that, open bottle, so no good for collectors, but something like that, yes, would be extremely desirable. So this is rather different to that um, in terms of you know the contents, the story, and also the amount of bottles that are available. That is why earlier when I said special, the word rare came into mind, which as I said earlier, I really don't like to use, and it doesn't really matter. This is not collectible for anybody because it's open anyway, right? So all of those things aside, um, the, the whiskey is absolutely fantastic, and um, as I said, the detail behind it, the amount of um, bottles that are available, and the contents as well are rather special. So all of that in a package, absolutely fantastic. I really appreciate you watching this because I have a few bottles. I recently went to my storage. I've got a few bottles that were closed that I've opened or plan to open and some that I've kept there that are actually already open that I've really been looking forward to sit down and, and go through. And um, I'll do some of those, but I'll also continue to do bottles that are really easy to find because I love that feedback that comes back and I try not to do too many bottles that are obscure, which is why unfortunately I don't sit down with many independent bottles at all. So many are fantastic, but um, I just feel as if because they are very difficult for people to track down, that obviously is a little bit of an, an obstacle there, but um, you will see a mixture coming through hopefully over the next couple of months maybe even with some alternatives as well. So I'll leave it at that. As I said earlier, if you don't subscribe, you should hit the like button. I really appreciate the time that you've taken to watch once again. Hope you have enjoyed it. Cheers to you. Till next time.